Hello friends, this is Simon speaking. I thought I'd make a video for a change instead of just a message on Facebook. Uh, I discovered or rediscovered a word today that I've seen before. It's called polyfill. Polyfill. I might be uh, pronouncing it incorrectly, but forgive me. Polyfill. And I realized it sort of describes uh, how to fill the gap in between two parts, I guess. Maybe if we do about all answers, it comes slash polyfill. It tells us what it actually means. Uh, well, it's the polyfiller is code designed to provide technology that is not native to a web browser. So actually, the word itself is sort of native to describing the technology that fills in the gap between browsers. So take for instance the canvas. Canvas is HTML5 and it's not supported in older browsers. I'm not very good at this, but I think from Internet Explorer uh, 8, 7 and backwards, you won't initially make it work unless you have some kind of polyfill. And I wanted to find out if there was some kind of CSS3 polyfill that would uh, allow me to write CSS3 uh, code and um, have it work on older browsers. Because, you know, when, when you sit here developing some website, you use a lot of time trying to make things work in older browsers. And that's sort of backwards, because what you really want to do is be a little on the edge. I mean, not over at the edge. So you use stuff that won't work on newer browsers, but you want to improve, right? You want to be on the edge a little. I want to be on the edge, at least. So I did, um, I did a search for... Uh, cross browser polyfill. Well, now that we know that polyfill is a mm, technology specific word for this, I guess I could just uh, do this HTML5 or maybe CSS3 browser polyfill. Okay, I get this HTML5 cross browser polyfills uh, on GitHub and it has a huge list. Look at this with like SVG, Canvas. And um, let's see if we can find some uh, CSS3 here. CSS3 styles. I haven't actually looked at this before. I just wanted to teach you about polyfills. Of course, as typically as it can be, sometimes all of you guys know this already. And I just, uh, I just uh, reveal my, my lack of knowledge by telling you about this. But... Then again, maybe you don't. So, I want a JavaScript that I can include on my site that lets me, for instance, just write opacity 0 0.5. Instead of having all these mods, uh, opacity, and all these different kinds of, of um, browser-specific CSS tags. So, now you know how to find polyfills and what they are for. I hope you can use it for something exciting. And uh, I'll try to have a little look into this and find my CSS3 uh, polyfill. Have a good day and good weekend. Bye.